Welcome back trainers. So we are going to be going over some new notes that have been released here and uh, just cover it. Just skim over it really fast. All right, trainers, we're just as excited as you are to introduce even more Pokemon originally from Hoenn region to start appearing in the real world. Alongside the introduction of these new Pokemon, we also revealed the new dynamic weather gameplay system that will start rolling out to trainers around the world. All right, so then they go on here. Let's let's take a look at these. Uh, Pokemon Go user interface will reflect reflect each trainer's current weather location, local weather. Certain Pokemon will more likely appear frequently in weather that suits them the most. These Pokemon will yield bonus Stardust when caught. These Pokemon are more likely to have greater potential in battle, so maybe that means higher IVs. These Pokemon are more likely to have greater potential in battle. I mean, what are they higher attack stat? <laughs> so I, I would assume high IVs. Uh, so that's very interesting to take note of. Uh, seems like you're gonna want bad weather <laughs> when you play Pokemon Go. Seems like okay. More types that match certain weather conditions will deal extra damage in battle. So if it's raining, then water's gonna do more damage. If it's a clear night, then uh, what was it ground and whatever else it was I have to go back and check but uh, Whatever Pokemon aligns with that particular weather pattern. They're gonna do more damage uh, Fire is gonna be clear and sunny I would assume all right, so And they go on to talk about When we first started thinking about features to introduce alongside the poke. Okay, so the all right. Weather now battle parties Trainers will be able to create a name, create and name teams of up to six Pokemon in their Pokemon collection for quick access when participating in gym battles and raid battles. Now, I don't know, is this going to roll out with Gen 3 and then the weather? Because as far as we know, I mean, it doesn't seem to have any work. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a server side thing that's going to switch it and then we'll be able to start naming our stuff. I don't know. All right. So we're thrilled to do that's pretty much it. and they could just go on to talk about how you can uh, I'll leave a link for you to go read it now Pokemon storage now I know this is something people really have been asking for are we gonna get it are we gonna get it and to be honest with you there's no such thing as a bad question but as of now every time they've released uh, the next generation of Pokemon not including the Halloween because that was only five like a bigger update like you know whole nother generation uh, they increased the storage, so it's just natural that they're going to increase the storage. On top of that, they have also, let's see here. Okay, so then they go on to say how when we receive more Pokemon, it's going to be necessary to have more storage. So they're going to up it to 1,500. They also increase the minimum Pokemon storage by 50. So all trainers will soon be able to carry 50 additional Pokemon. So that's pretty neat there. Uh, I'll leave a link so you can check this whole article out here for yourself notes update and i'll be catching you all later